Hey guys, before this video gets started, I just wanted to quickly apologize for how tired and bored we sounded. I promise we did want to film and we were happy doing it. We were just extremely tired. We literally had just woken up and then throughout the video we had Google Meets all day. Now on with the incredible, awesome, epic video. Hey guys, this is The Rebels. And now it's time to have some fun with Uncle Samson. If you haven't seen the video that Gunnar started, look up there. Maybe up there. Anyway, today we have an exciting challenge for you guys. What is it, Gunnar? It's the only eating school food for an entire day challenge. Yep, basically our school district has a thing called grab-and-go meals where you can go pick up food for yourself or like if you're an adult you can get it for your children and it's basically each bag had seven days worth of food in it for one kid so we got it for all three of us just to try it out and see what they have so that means we have three weeks worth of food from the grab-and-go meals and here's just a little bit of it. There's some in the fridge, some in the freezer, and a whole lot of milk cartons. And juice. And juice. Oh, also Hershey's chocolate milk. Yeah, Hershey's I chocolate milk. I tried it. It was really good. So we're going to start the day out with breakfast. And it has to be like a logical meal. Like we can't we can't have the Cheetos Cheeto for puffs breakfast. and the Gushers. No. Another rule is you have to have it from Grab and Go. Yeah. Either something from this table or from in the fridge or freezer. If you eat something that is not from grab and go, other than water, then you're out of the challenge. And this is going to last for the entire day. Even dinner, which we didn't specifically get food for, so that's going to be kind of rough. Yeah, we've all had a little bit of yeah. stuff from it already. I had some grapes, they were whatever, I mean. I had grapes too. I had this one really weird juice that I'm really excited for you guys to try. Oh yeah, that's what's it really called, gross. like Wingo Mingo? Yep. But anyway, let's get into breakfast. What do you guys want to eat? Of course. And there's also like stuff in the fridge too, I think. Does like, anybody want to go for something in the fridge? I'm going to do this. The probably going to taste like cardboard. And I want to try the, like there were little Eggo mini pancakes. Yeah. I kind of want to try those. That's the other thing I wanted to try. So, I guess I'm going to go warm those up and try Wait, them. question. Are and we allowed to pour milk in our cereal? What if it's this milk we got? If it's the milk we got, sure. And another issue is I have like school a half hour, so we gotta be speedy. So me and Bridger got our milk, and Bridger only spilled a little bit. I think the milk should be fine. I kind of just want to try the milk. It's not the best. Question: Are we allowed to use spoons? Wait. Thank you, yeah, it's not food. You can use our utensils. It's unless you're eating them. Why are you filming me eating? This is some exciting stuff. How about I trade you a graham cracker for one of those? Okay. Actually, two. Because these are apparently good. Wait, I need, I need to try one before. Wait, let me just taste test this. Is it good? It just tastes like a drink. Where am I supposed to sit? Alright, so I have my pancake. It smells like maple syrup, so I don't think I'll be needing any syrup, which is good because I'm not allowed to use any. Okay, this Hershey's chocolate milk, I haven't tried it. Bridger said it was good. It's definitely very chocolatey. It's good, just very chocolatey. You can't eat your utensils. I want them. Look, it's oh cool. my god, that's tiny! I should have some. Those are bite sized. I could literally fit one of those in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're fine. They're a little like moist, if you know what I mean. So, did you guys rate breakfast rad, bad, or bread? Can we just read it out of the pan? That's a better idea. 
I'm gonna have to read it in eight. I would grade it in eight probably. I would say a seven. A seven. So we're gonna finish up our breakfast, do some school, and then if we have any snacks, we'll make sure to show you what we have. Because there's a lot of snacks here. Mm -hmm. So right now, I'm cooking up um a meat and cheese croissant. And right now, I have a pickle. I'm guessing it's gonna be a zero star pickle. Because we got this out of school. School foods usually not that good. I rate it 8 out of 10. Actually, a 7. Right now, I not had to put it in the microwave for a long time. But now it's finally done. Because the meat was frozen. And it's really hot, so I barely can even take a bite out of it. I didn't try, but I know it's going to be hot. So right now, I'm just going to try the meat. The meat, eight out of ten. Mm, it tastes good. I would actually rate it um, an, an, an eight, actually a seven out of ten. So I have this donut, and it's whole wheat. So I'll pout it. And I think it's gonna be very good because I've had one at my school. Eight out of ten. So right now we're trying the mac and cheese. That's what we need. And when we have our guest teachers tomorrow and Monday. Mm -hmm. It's same. not bad, it's just really cheesy. Um, I'd probably rate it a yeah. 7 out of 10. Why are you coming? Me? Oh, you want to taste test. Okay. So I'm going to try the Hershey's first. It's pretty good. It's really chocolatey, but that's what chocolate milk is. And now I'm gonna try the pizza. It's pretty good. It's a little overcooked. And the chocolate milk would probably be a nine out of 10. And the pizza's probably an eight and a half out of 10. All right, so here it is. I just received word that Gunner has already eaten this. I had like a later lunch break than him. It doesn't look very, I mean, I don't know, it's mac and cheese. That is weird. Like the cheese is, it doesn't taste like cheese. It tastes like, it tastes like cheese, but not cheese, if you know what I mean. I mean, the macaroni is like, like chewy. In a bad way. Like, I feel like it should be a little bit more firm. So I would rate the mac and cheese, like, a 4 out of 10. So for dessert, I'm going to have this Cocoa Puff. It looks like a Rice Krispie Treat thing. And Gunner's home! So here's the Cocoa Puff bar. It looks pretty good. I mean, I don't know. Very Wait, can you break off a piece for me to try? Ready? One, two, Wait! Five second subscribe challenge. We want to see if you can subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications in five seconds. <laughs> Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome! Now let's try the Cocoa Puff bar. There's a lot of like grains. Like I can see grains in it. It's not like all Cocoa Puff. I guess it makes sense. That's not that good. I'd say. Seven. Six. So it's okay, but I wouldn't like go out of my way to get it and eat it. So you know my gunner told us that we're gonna try this? Well, right now I'm doing it. That was descriptive. <laughs> That's basically, it's Ew. the Wango Mango drink. And did you like it? No. Oh, gunner's <laughs> here. Read your I, I, I probably read it a two out of ten. Can I try some? I don't want to have my um, own. Um, that wasn't, I mean, that's not something I'm used to. It's okay. It's not great though. Other juices are definitely better. That's a four out of 10. So right now, I'm about to eat a hot dog from the grab and go. 
Why don't you try the grapes while you're waiting for that to cool? Yeah, I already tried the grapes. They taste like grapes. Oh, okay. And we'll come back to you when your hot dog's cooled. So, Gunnar, you want to try your hamburger? He's watching YouTube. It's okay. Um, 7 out of 10. Uh, Bridger, what would you rate your hot dog and your grapes? Uh, okay. Um, uh, the grapes with, um, a 9 out of 10. Um, hot dog, 8 out of 10. Alright, that's fair, that's fair. I'm also going to try the mini donuts. Hopefully they are 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, so here I have, it's like Alfredo pasta. Oops, I was accidentally zoomed in a little bit, but that's okay. And I mean, it looks fine, so I'm going to try it. Pretty good, tastes like the healthy pasta, like with the grains and stuff, but that's not a bad thing. And then I also have this breadstick. <laughs> now I'm going to try it. That's really good. That is really, really good. Breadstick is a 9.7 out of 10. Why 0.7? Because I feel like it could be a little bit better, but not much. And then the pasta is 8.5. And, and then I'm also getting some carrots warmed up. And I have my carrots here now. I'm gonna try it. It's pretty good. It's basically just like carrots. I don't know. I give that an 8 out of 10. So for dessert, I have the chocolate covered mini donuts. I'm really excited to try these. They're actually really good. They're just like any other chocolate covered mini donut. Good, not like exceptional, but it's not bad. I'd give that eight and a half out of ten. So guys, that was the video. That was the video. We all successfully completed the challenge of eating only our school's grab and go food for an entire day. And gonna over here and Bridger and they're still eating the food from that, which I guess is good because we got a lot of it. But yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace!